Hello, I'm Pastor Wan, and I would like to welcome all of you to Call Paper UMC's weekly Lenten devotional. There are so many people out there who find themselves burdened and crushed by feelings of guilt and shame. Many carried the weight of unworthiness because of the mistakes they have made in their lives. And I'm sure that at some point, to some degree, all of us have experienced the same heaviness of guilt and shame in our lives. At times, it can feel as if we are trapped in a deep pit of guilt and shame. We are surrounded by accusers who look down on us, pointing fingers at us, and they say that we are sinners, no one will like you, and no one will want to be with you because you have made a bad mistakes. And no matter how hard we try to climb out of that pit, it is too deep and the words are too high to climb, to overcome. And if you feel overwhelmed and weighed down by this guilt and shame, and if you feel as if you are trapped in an endless hopelessness, I want you to hear what the psalmist says in Psalm 130. Out of the depth I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. The psalmist says that he has been there in the place where he felt crushed down, weighed down by the feelings of guilt and shame. He was there in a deep pit of endless unworthiness. So he said, out of the depth I cry to you, Lord, Lord, hear my voice. And in this darkest moment in his life, where can we go? Where can we find hope and forgiveness? And the psalmist said he found hope and he declares in verse 4, but there is forgiveness with you so that you may be revered. Yes, indeed. The Bible affirms that there is forgiveness. There is someone who can take away our sins, our guilt and shame. There is someone who can lift us out of the pit of hopelessness. There is someone who can forgive us and accept us, no matter how bad mistakes we have made and how much we have messed up in our lives. And that person is Jesus Christ. I want to tell you one story about a boy little boy named Johnny. He and his sister Sally visited uh, their grandparents and uh, Johnny practiced his slingshot in grandma's backyard where he saw grandma's pet dog. And on an impulse, he took aim and uh, let fly the slingshot and the stone hit and the dog fell dead. The boy panicked, of course, and desperately he hid the dead dog in the wood pile, and only to look up and see his sister watching. So obviously, Sally had seen it all, but she said nothing. And after lunch that day, Grandma said, Sally, let's wash the dishes. But Sally said, Johnny told me that he wanted to help in the kitchen today. Didn't you, Johnny? And she whispered to him, Remember the duck. And Johnny couldn't say anything, and Johnny did the dishes. And later that day, Grandpa asked if the children 
would like to go to fishing. But Grandma said, I'm sorry, but I need one of you to stay and help me make supper. And Sally said again, Grandma, that has been taken care of. Johnny said again that he would like to stay and help you. And Sally again whispered to Johnny, Remember the dog. Johnny couldn't say anything, and Johnny stayed and helped Grandma. After several days of Johnny doing both his and his sister's chores, Johnny couldn't stand it no longer. So Johnny came to his grandma and confessed, Grandma, I killed your dog. And to his surprise, grandma said, Johnny, I knew it. And she gave him a hug. I was standing at the window and saw the whole thing. Because I love you, I forgave you. And I wondered how long you would let Sally make a slave of you. Dear friends, when we commit sins, Satan will make a slave of us and will make us suffer with the guilt and shame. When you commit sins, don't try to hide it from God. Instead, come to the cross of Christ and confess your sins. And God, your loving God, desires to forgive you. He wants to free you from the burden of guilt and shame. So Apostle Paul says in Romans chapter 8, verse 1 and 2, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. Please know that in Jesus Christ there is forgiveness. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O oh, dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of the gift of forgiveness that is revealed in the cross of Christ. O oh Lord, we come before you with heart of gratitude for your forgiveness, O oh Lord. May we always live in your mercy and grace. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.